Hollywood, California, the makers of Old Gold Cigarettes present the Comedy Theater. The only radio program that brings you every week the greatest stars in the greatest comedies. Tonight's play, The Milky Way, starring Robert Walker, Jimmy Gleason, Eve Arden, and Matt Pendleton. And here is the director of the Old Gold Comedy Theater, Mr. Harold Lloyd. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight's Old Gold Comedy Theater presentation is The Milky Way. That uh, naturally made us think of a lot of stars. So in selecting our cast for this evening, we picked not one star, but four. And uh, then our thoughts turn to prize fighters because the Milky Way is the story of two middleweight champions, one authentic and the other reluctant. And now, as the glaring lights beat mercilessly down upon the ring, we have in this corner, Bob Walker. Uh, you know, Bob, I'm looking forward to seeing you in the Metro Golden Mayor picture, The Clock, in which you co-star with Judy Garland. Uh, tonight, Bob, you play the part of... Uh, Burley Sullivan. I'm just a milkman who loves animals. I'm very happy at my work because I can talk to my horse. And uh, in this corner, we have Jimmy Gleason. I'm Gabby Sloan. I manage Speed McFarlane. <laughs> I used to train horses. I was happy at end because you can talk to a horse. <laughs> and in this corner, we have Eve Arden. I'm Ann Westley. I know my way around. Every chorus girl does. Right now, I'm Gabby Sloan's girl, but I'm thinking of making a change because he's so busy with his prize fighter, I don't even get time to talk to a horse. <laughs> and last, but certainly not least, we have Nat Pendleton. I'm Speed McFarlane, middleweight champion of the world. My favorite gag is to clip a guy in a button and say, pardon my glove. <laughs> Welcome to Comedy Theater. Robert Walker, Jimmy Gleason, Eve Arden, and Nat Pennell. <laughs> now, before the fight, <laughs> I mean, before the play, here are your instructions. Don't steal any lines, don't step on laughs, and when you hear the bell, come out acting. Got that? Okay, Harold. Sure yeah. thing, Harold. You yeah. bet. Now, round one. Speed McFarland, middleweight champion of the world, and Spider, his trainer, are in Speed's apartment after a very convivial night. They're trying to do two things, recall what happened the night before, and get back into condition. They are failing miserably on both counts when the door opens and Ann Wesley walks in. Hello, boys. I got good news. Gabby will be here any minute. He just got back in town, phoned me from the station. Ann, you shouldn't bust in here like this. Why? It's not a stag party, is it? Hello, Ann. Hello, Speed. Oh, my, my. Who gave you the pretty shiners, if I didn't know? Don't worry. It's only in three papers. What three papers? The morning, the afternoon, and the evening. <laughs> Take a gander at this headline. Speed McFarland, world's middleweight champion... Knocked out by a truck driver in a street brawl. What? Hey, they can't do that to me. Here, let me see that paper. Who was the girl? Huh? You heard me, the babe, the filly, the mouse. Well, you see... I... Shut up, shut up. What does it say in the papers? Well, it says in this one, a guy named Bailey Sullivan knocked you for a loop. Never heard of him. Don't worry, you will. Says his sister May works at the Harvest Moon Cafe. He was waiting to take her home when you breezed along with the same idea. Well, where was you all this time? Seems by the newspaper account I was right there. Says here I made a pass at him and landed right on top of you. Aren't you boys getting too old to play in the streets? Oh, hello, boss. Spotty up fired. What, again? Hello, Kirby. Shut up. Have you seen the morning papers? <laughs> uh, any left? Yeah, <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> uh, now, now, wait a minute, boss. The, the champ didn't start nothing. No, and he didn't finish it either. How am I going to square this with the public? Well, you might look up the truck driver and sign him up. And get on to the lobby. You see any reporters there, stole them all. Okay, Gabby, but find out who the girl was. Goyle, what Goyle? 
will you see, boys, the champ wanted to go dancing. And... You're supposed to be a sparring partner, not his dancing partner. And you see, Gabby, I wasn't expecting nothing. This guy come up from behind me. He was bigger than Joe Lewis with a terrific wallop. A guy can be taken by surprise. Yeah, like me when I seen in the papers that this Burley Sullivan, what he done to you? If I ever see that guy again, I'm going to take one crack at him if it's the last thing I do. It probably will be. He knocked a call once. If he does it again, you're true. Come in. Uh, pardon me. Is this Mr. McFarland's apartment? Yeah. <coughs> What's wrong, milkman? And he paid his milk bill? Oh, I, I don't deliver milk here. Well, then scram. We got work to do. Well, I'm sorry, but I was worried about Mr. McFarland. Say, who are you anyway? My name is Burley Sullivan. What? 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 It's a lie. It ain't reasonable on the face of so it. So you're Burley Sullivan. I thought you said he was bigger than Joe Lowe's with a terrific wallop. Well, you see, I didn't knock Mr. McFarlane out. You didn't? No, sir. Uh, this other fellow did. Spider? Uh, now, wait a minute, champ. He's hey, not... Flat space. Right Sit down. <laughs> Spider, get over there. Now, look, Mr. Sullivan. Take it nice and easy so we can all understand before I go nuts and murder the Travis. Well, you see, my specialty is ducking. When I was a little boy, I was very frail, and the other boys used to throw rocks at me. I either had to duck or get hit, and I got so nobody could hit me, even with their fists. I used to stand and let them try. All right, all right, so you know how to duck. Now, get the last night. Well, you see, there was an argument about my sister May. Now, I always take May home before I start delivering the milk. Now, I didn't know these two gentlemen, and they kept insisting they were going to take May home. Uh, I tried arguing with them, and Mr. McFarland struck at me. Naturally, I ducked. And then this other gentleman, who must have been behind me, uh, he struck at the same time. And I suppose you're going to tell me they knocked each other out. Yes, sir. Why, you lying little half pint. Take off them glasses. Hold it, Spade. I won't hurt him. I just want to get a good look at him. Do you know who I am? Of course I do. That's what makes it so wonderful. I've been struck at by the world's champion fighter, and I was able to duck. Oh, yeah? Well, you, you milkmaid in pants, try ducking this. Uh. Hey, duck the gun, and you knocked out the champ. Well, why don't you stand up, milkmaid, and fight like a man? All right, duck this one. Spider, you dope. He ducked again, and look at you done to me. Me jaws busted. <laughs> hey, 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 you, you real is supposed to be up here. Come on, now beat it. Holy mackerel, the champ's out cold. Gabby's flat on his face. And what do you know, guys? The milkman's done it again. <laughs> And so, as the first act of the Milky Way ends, once again we find that Spider has knocked out the champion and the champion's manager. In other words, Burley is a grade A pest. And now, here is Bob Williams to tell you what to do when you are confronted with one. Well, folks, when you're posing for a snapshot and some wise guy sticks his head into the picture just at the last minute, don't snap his head off. Look at it this way. Why be irritated? Let an old gold. <laughs> yes, sir, smokers. You're the picture of comfort and enjoyment when you're smoking a really fine cigarette. But only if that cigarette is not harsh or dry. And so... Old gold's great tobaccos are conditioned with a special moisture-protecting agent we call apple honey, made from the juice of fresh apples. This actually helps prevent cigarette dryness. And moreover, Old Gold's unique blend of many fine tobaccos is enriched with rare imported Latakia tobacco to add flavor to your smoke. Extra flavor plus extra special protection against cigarette dryness. That's Old Gold. So try a pack soon as you can. And remember, when little annoyances come your way, why be irritated? Light an Old Gold. <laughs> And now back to Harold Lloyd in the second act of tonight's Old Gold Comedy Theater presentation, The Milky Way, starring Robert Walker, Jimmy Gleason, Eve Arden, and Matt Pendleton. All right, Mr. Lloyd. Well, Burley Sullivan has pulled his David and Goliath stunt again. At least the newspapers give him credit for knocking out the world's champion, so it amounts to the same thing. The champ, his manager Gabby, and his sparring partner Spider are feeling pretty low when manager Gabby comes up with a brilliant idea. Just listen to it. Don't you get it? I'll build him up with the new middleweight sensation. Gabby Sloan takes the eight-day winner under his wing. It's our only chance to save our rep. 
How do you know he can fight? Who cares? He'll win all his fights in the first round. How do you suppose I built you up? It's a natural. I build him up through the country with a line of sit-ups. Then you take him out for the championship and we clean up. It might work. It's an inspiration. Hey, you, come here. Yeah, but, but I don't want to be a fighter. Would you like to be drowned in a bad tub? Oh, that could never happen. I take showers. Never mind. <laughs> You're a fighter. Put up your hands. Now I'll bring your hands up like this. Now make a fist. Don't wrap your fingers around your tongue. Gabby, Gabby, it can't be done. I'll make something out of him or kill him. Maybe if you could train him in secret for a while. That's it, Speed. We'll make it all very mysterious. Nobody gets a pick at him till he's ready. Oh, I wish you folks would listen to me. I, I don't want to be a fighter, and I wish you'd let me out of here. My, my horse is down there waiting for me, and he, he gets impatient. Hey, I'll bring him a box of oats and tell him that from you, personal. Well, what a pleasant surprise. Everybody's still on their feet. Hello, Ed. Come on, you guys. Let's scram. What for? Never mind. You and Spider beat it. I'll be right out. No, uh... Now, look, Ann. This point's hard to handle. I figure if I leave with you, you can influence them to sign up with me. I figure if I do, that'll cost you 500 fish. Oh, it's a deal. <laughs> okay, boys, let's go. Lovely view out that window, don't you think, Burley? Huh? Oh, yeah. I was just looking at my horse down there. Oh, I love a man who loves horses. You know, Burley, you have such hidden powers, such latent strength. May I feel your muscles? Yeah. Well, not right now. I've got milk to deliver. Some other time, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> oh, forget the dairy, Burley. You've got your career to think of. Career? As a fighter. Oh, that. Oh, I, I'm not going to be a fighter. My future is wrapped up in milk. Someday, I'm going to be promoted from grade A to homogenized. <laughs> Burley, come here. Put your arms around me. But I don't know you. Don't be bashful. I'm just a woman. Oh, well, I knew that. <laughs> Put your arms around me like this. Oh, Burley, you have such brute strength. So that's the way it is. Yeah, we weren't doing anything. Don't blame it on the woman, but you can't get away with it, Sullivan. I had plans for you, bigger than you ever dreamed of. And when I plan your future, what do you do? You steal the only thing I ever cared for. Who, me? Never mind. <laughs> what will your sister say? Oh, no, no, not that. You wouldn't tell me. On one condition. In you, I see the culmination of all my hopes. Strip my heart, break my home. Take my all, but sign with me and I'll forgive and forget. You'll forget what? What difference does it make? Sign right here. <laughs> Gee, May, just think. If your brother, ha brother hadn't knocked me out and if Gabby hadn't got the idea of making a fighter out of him, I'd have never met you. Uh-huh. And that was only three months ago. Oh, it seems like I've known you for years, Speed. Yeah, me too. Likewise. Oh. Uh, Speed, I'm so worried about Burley. Why? Just on account of his first fight? Well, yes, you know he was never cut out to be a fighter. Listen, May. Burley's going to be all right. Gabby's got it all fixed. Look. Burley ducks three times, then tags the other guy on the chin. The other guy goes down, and Burley wins the fight. Oh, but suppose it doesn't work out that way. I tell you, Gabby and Spider have been rehearsing Burley on that routine for three months. But look, honey, look, how about you and me? After all these weeks we've been going steady, don't I begin to write with you just a little bit? Oh, but Speed, I've told you so many times, I'm just not your kind. Oh, look, May, I tell you what I'll do. I'll do everything you ask me to. I'll, I'll ditch the gang. I'll go to your museums. I'll, I'll try the piano, even. I'll, I'll read a book. Look, <laughs> I'll even go further than that. I'll let you save my money for me. I'm crazy about you, May. Honest, just crazy. Oh, Speed. And I'm afraid I'm just silly enough to take a chance on you. <laughs> <laughs> Break and go to a neutral corner. Oh, oh, and what's happened? Is the fight over? I didn't wait to find out. What gives here? Oh, Speed and I are engaged. Oh, dandy. Gabby will love that. 
the champ switching from road work to baby carriages. <laughs> it's all over, folks. It's all over. Gabby, where's Bernie? What happened? He'll be right up. He won in 22 seconds of the first round. A clean KO. And here he is, folks. That fighting milkman in Poison. Burley. Hello, sis. It was a great fight, but I won. Ooh, does the other guy look as bad as that? Well, it would have been over sooner, only I started a fight with my bathrobe on and we had to start all over. <laughs> well, you get your clothes on, Burley. I'm going to take you home. Take him home, nothing. Pack a suitcase, Burley. We're catching the 1145 for Pittsburgh. Who's going to Pittsburgh? We are. What for? You fight six rounds there Wednesday night with Killer Carnivan. I do. It'll be a pushover. Burley, speed Gabby quick. Yay, gods, he's fainted. <laughs> Sullivan knocks out Killer Carnivore. Burley, Burley Sullivan wins first bout in Madison Square Garden. Sixth knockout in a row for Sullivan. Oh, it won't be fair, Speed. Gabby shouldn't have matched Burley and you. Well, you'll kill Burley, and he's my brother. And I, I love you. Don't worry, baby. He's had six fights already. Oh, but all those fights were fixed. I'll give him just one on the button. Painless, see? He won't feel a thing. Speed McFarlane the champ, huh? I'll take you in less than one round. Why, after our fight, it'll be Burley Sullivan, the champ, and Speed McFarland, chump. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Maybe you don't know it, but Gabby, Spider, May, Ann, and me bet all our money on me. Come on, May. Let's you and me go out for a walk. No, oh, Speed, you and May leaving? Yeah. May and me is going out. We ain't had no road work today. Well, <laughs> have fun. Hello, Burley. Hello, Ann. Say... Uh, Anne, have you read this magazine? Magazine? Yeah. Uh, read it, Anne. Sullivan is a strange mixture of two personalities. His love for animals brings out the almost feminine tenderness of his peculiar nature, which becomes overridden by the killer instinct which is paramount in the ring. Hmm. Yeah. You know, Anne, if, that, if that's true, I can't fight. I don't have to read magazines to find that out. I don't want to be a, a, a Jekyll and Hyde. Well, who the heck are they? Don't you know about Jekyll and Hyde? Well, how should I? I ain't no baseball fan. <laughs> it's the good and bad natures in man struggling. If the bad gets on top, you just stay bad. Well, your struggles are over. Oh, I'm glad you see it that way, Ann. I'll never fight again. What? Huh? Say that again. Well, it just came to me. Suppose the killer instinct got the upper hand. Why, I might go on killing one man after another in the ring. I might even grow to hate animals, abuse them. I won't do it. I'm gonna fight this killer in me. I've always said reading doesn't get you anywhere. Oh, gee, boss, come in quick. Gabby, something's got Burley. He's slightly off the beam. Yeah, two guys named Heckle and Hyde have been talking to him. They, they got him cuckoo. That's right, Gabby. My career has ended. You'll understand, Gabby. All I understand is that everybody's gone nuts. I wish you wouldn't yell so hard. I'll yell my head off. It's no use trying to bully me. I'll bully anyone I... Watch your blood pressure, Gabby. You and Spider better get out. Let Mama talk to him. Come on, Spider. We'll go to my room and get plastered. Yeah, that suits me right out of the crowd. I'll give you a ring. <laughs> if I'm still conscious, I'll answer it. You know, Burley, I think the trouble is that none of us have understood you. Yeah, but you understand me, don't you, Annie? I hope so, Burley. You know, I think you're one of those strong characters who hide their power under a cloak of sweetness. Uh huh? I was a Sagittarius baby, you know. I would have guessed. That explains a lot. It does? Oh, yes. Sagittarius people are fighters. Maybe that explains the killer instinct. Ah, then you felt it. Well, no, not exactly, but remember what happened to Dr. Jekyll? As if it were yesterday. But was he a Sagittarius? No, Burley. He was a Capricorn. Evil came before strength. He couldn't win. You can. You really think so? Prove it to yourself. You mean go on with the fight? Huh? I mean step into that ring Monday night, sure that your better side will assert itself. For you have a Leo behind you now. I have? Me, Burley. Gabby's never found it out, but I'm a Leo. Oh. <laughs> well, I'll never tell him. Don't tell anybody. With the softening influence of Leo to guide you, the danger's gone. 
Sagittarius and Leo in the same ring. It almost overwhelms me. Oh, me too, Anne. But don't let it. I'm myself again. You'll go through with the fight, Burley? I'll do it, Anne. I'll do it for you. Oh, good. What's that? Sounds like a dog. Oh, it's Maisie, the dog they gave me in Duluth. I know her voice. She needs me. Go to her, Burley. She understands, too. <laughs> Well, Burley sure is supremely confident. After all, it's really difficult to overcome Sagittarius and Leo. Don't you think so, Bob? Oh, I, I beg your pardon, Harold. I was thinking. Well, what are you looking so serious about? Well, it it's Sunday, isn't it? Yes. So it behooves me to give some advice on things that usually happen on Sunday. Like, for instance? Well, all right. Uh, folks, suppose Junior has made a soldier hat with your favorite section of the Sunday paper before you've even read it. Don't make him stand in the corner all day, Pop. We always say... Why be irritated? Light an old gold. Yes, smokers, an old gold is always good news, thanks to its swell extra flavor, plus its special protection against cigarette dryness. And here's why. You see, old gold's grand blend of fine tobaccos, with its touch of costly extra fragrant Latakia tobacco, is specially conditioned with apple honey to help retain the natural moisture, to help prevent cigarette dryness. So, for a better, keener, tastier smoke... Light an old gold. But friends, please remember, even though we're producing all cigarettes possible without sacrificing any of old gold's quality, the men and women in our armed forces get first consideration. However, we're doing our utmost to assure fair distribution of all remaining old golds. So if you must be content with substitute brands today, be content to know that tomorrow, if you ask, your dealer may have old gold. And now back to the third act of tonight's Old Gold Comedy Theater presentation, The Milky Way, starring Robert Walker, Jimmy Gleason, Eve Arden, and Matt Pendleton. All right, Mr. Lloyd. Well, it's the night of the big championship fight. They've all bet their last dime on Speed McFarland, the champion. Gabby and Spider are in Speed's corner. Anne and May are at the ringside. The main event is about to start. And the fight is on. The champion comes out like a tiger. He's right on top of Sullivan. The champ lets go with a vicious left at the chin. Sullivan ducks. But just a moment, folks. The crowd's in an uproar. Everybody's on his feet. I can't see a thing. I'm not sure, folks, but I think the fight is all over. Yes, it is over. It's a knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, Speed McFarland was knocked out in just 16 seconds of the first round. We have a new middleweight champion of the world, Barry Sullivan. <laughs> But it must have happened, Speed. It says the same in all the morning papers. You want to hear what Grant Rice says? No, no, I, I don't give a hoop what anybody says. Well, some of them says there ought to be a retired bout. Mind if I come in? Hello, Speed. Hello, May. How do you feel, darling? Well, pretty awful, I guess. Have you seen Burley? No one's seen him since the fight, and I've got to find him. Oh, don't worry, honey. He'll turn up. Oh, it, it may be too late, Speed. I, I've got to tell you something, but I can't until I've talked to Burley. There's one thing I want you to tell me right now. Are you and me all washed up after last night? Oh, you shouldn't say that, Speed. Why, I love you more than I ever did. Gee, that cheers a guy up. Kiss me, honey. That's right. Go on with your own selfish pleasures. <laughs> Never mind what happens to me. <coughs> Who is it? Oh. What happens to you? Yes, what happens to me? Hey, ask me, am I... The... We're all dead broke, and am I all right, is all I want to know. Oh. Ann, have you seen Burley? Come in. It's me, Burley, the new champ. Hello, everybody. Hello, Lammy Pie. Oh, Burley, where have you been? Attending to business. I haven't been to bed yet. How are you, Speed? Oh, I'm all right, thanks. I've almost recovered from the fight, too. You have? What happened to you? Well, just as we start fighting, Speed s starts making a, a haymaker. I duck. Speed misses. Then I straighten up and my head hits Speed full on the jaw. 
That's when I bit my tongue, and gee, it hurts too. <laughs> Bernie, I simply must know, what did you do with that money? Oh, that? Oh, you're gonna be surprised. What money? Yeah, well, you see, Speed, May and I have always had a joint bank account. Oh, when you gave her all that money to save, she put it in our account. Speed, did you give her your dough? Well, he gave me $12,000 to save for our wedding. That's what I had to tell you, Speed. When I went to draw the money out yesterday to bet on you, it was gone. You mean the whole 12000 bucks? Burley, do you know anything about that money? Yeah, May. I drew it out. Well, where is it? I bet it. What? what? Well, you see, after Ann explained it all to me, you know, about... Sagittarius and Leo, I drew the 12,000 bucks out of the bank and bet it on myself, and I won. What, 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 you bet it on yourself? What time was this? Just before the fight. The odds then was four to one against you. Hey, we got 48 grand. We'll run it up to 50. It looks like speeds, though, Gabby, so put your chisel back in the toolbox. <laughs> don't be an end break. Now, look, here's the layout. I don't want to interrupt, but maybe I'd better say something. <clears throat> I invested all the money. You what? what? Burley, how could you? Oh, there's millions in it, May. We'll be rich. Like Ann says, Sagittarius and Leo are the money stars. Ann, you and your constellations. Well, can I help it if he bought the Milky Way? That's it, Ann. You've hit it. Huh? That's what we'll call it, the Milky Way. That's a great name for the dairy. Dairy? What dairy? The one I used to work for. <laughs> I bought it this morning. Hey! Wait a minute. There's an angle there. I want to get out of the fight racket. We'll sell milk. Speed, get the reporters on the phone. Gabby Sloan's milk will be plastered on every front page in the country. Not Gabby Sloan's milk. Burley Sullivan's milk. Eh, what difference does it make? Whose milk it is? Some people prefer cows. <laughs> <laughs> Say, what's the output of this dairy? A thousand gallons a day. We'll cut the milk and make it two thousand. <laughs> Why, the milk business is a swell investment. I understand it's good for a long pull. Speed, you and May can get married now and work in a dairy. Well, I have plans, too, for Burley and me. We're going to get married. Oh, gosh. And maybe in a year or two, we'll have a little son. And I've got a wonderful name picked out for him, too. Just think, Ann. Leo Sagittarius Sullivan. <laughs> Oh, this is Harold Lloyd, Robert Walker, Jimmy Clayson, Eve Arden, and Nat Pendleton saying good night to you for all gold. And I hope that you'll be with us again next Sunday when the All Gold Comedy Theater presents Dick Hames and Betty Rhodes in You Can't Ration Love. See you then. <laughs> Jimmy Gleason will soon be seen in the 20th Century Fox picture, Captain Eddie. Eve Arden is currently working in Warner Brothers' Mildred Pierce. Folks, nothing is more important for the morale of millions of American servicemen and women overseas than letters from home. But to be sure that letters get there quicker, use V-Mail. V-Mail conserves critical space. V-Mail is ideal for short, frequent letters. V-Mail is inexpensive. It flies overseas for only three cents. So, when you write again, use V-Mail. V-Mail forms may be obtained at your local post office free. And now until next Sunday evening, don't let little annoyances get you down. Why be irritated? Light an old gold. Its tobacco is conditioned with apple honey to help guard against cigarette dryness and gives you more smoking pleasure. And listen to old gold's other great new show, Which is Which? with Ken Murray as MC, Richard Himber's orchestra, and famous stage, screen, and radio personalities, or their reasonable facsimiles. Tune in Wednesday night on another network. Consult your newspaper for time and station. And now this is Bob Williams saying good night for Old Go. <laughs> National Broadcasting Company.